They could be, if this is what you're doing, you know, they could be like that. They could be like that. They're not fussy, mm -hmm. uh, but you just want to be able to hang your line on there and your head stall there. And the, the curve in the bit then will rest roughly at a 45 degree angle down and back. Okay, so I'll bend that a little more. Now I'll be able to find the other one too because I know it's roughly over here. In fact, I can see the mark right there. Uh, I'm just going to put a little crook in there right now. Now you want rings on the end of these, right? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a lot easier to put the ring on the end if I do it when the bar is still somewhat straight. Once I make it into a horseshoe shape, it's going to be a lot trickier. So I'm going to just make that little mark. I'll do the same thing over here so I, can, so I know where those are. You try to round, uh, smooth the ridges down after. Yeah, I think I'll probably do that too. If I was going to hammer this smooth, I'd do it now also. Okay. So what I'm really doing right now is just redefining those marks a touch so that I can find them. I mean, I can see that one right now. And then I'll hammer that. I got the heat there, I'll start hammering it down. A little more heat in there. Yeah, I was rolling a little bit back and forth. I don't really necessarily want, I just want to smooth it. So it's, uh, I'm not trying to draw it out and make it longer. But as I'm hammering on it, it's going to get longer. It's just, uh, it's just something that's going to happen every time you hammer on the bar. That metal's got to go somewhere, and it's going to go into the length. So I'm going to try to tap down those ridges a little bit. That helps a bit. Trying to be even, not distort it. Kind of go back and forth a little. Every time I see a high spot, I'll tap it down. Get it. Okay, usually when you're doing a, an eye on something, you start by doing it, you make a, a right angle away from where your bend starts, and then you push it back around. Now I'm going to have way more material than I need here, I think. Of course, I guess that controls somewhat your leverage too, right? I was going to say, we got a little extra material there. Let me, let me bypass that a touch. You say when, and we'll figure out what we're going to cut. It feels nice. I'm trying to not hit the cutting edge of my hammer. There we go. Oops. I'm going to set fire to my floor here. Nice mat. Okay. Okay, I'm going to just close this ring up. Does that size still look pretty good? Wonderful. Okay. Now that ultimately is going to be bent yep. down. For now, I think I'll leave it straight, but that's what you're shooting for. That's that out a little. 
we'll probably need to do some work. If you're going to put this in the animal's mouth, you certainly want to do a little work with a file or a sandpaper or something. All right, so I'm going to use up a bit there when I bend that. Do more or less the same thing on the other side, and then we can adjust it as needed. Now, how far out do you want that to stick? Uh, I want it to stick out like this. Just a bit, okay. Yeah. So I can close it a little more. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, quite a bit more. Okay. That side look pretty yep. good. Okay. Good. So get the other side more or less the same. We're yep. good to go. And you want it to be like that? Like up like that. Okay. Okay, I'll heat that up and I'll see if I can get that on the horn. A little more than that. A little, little bit more than that. There. Stop? Yep. Okay. And I really want to hit that again. Man. If, they, <laughs> if they start to use these, they'll refine it and change it and, and get it right. All right, it looks pretty simple. I know it. I know a couple of times, you know. But there, you see that would, that the size he made would, would fit her very nicely. And, no, no. <laughs> Uh, you know, it's, it's not a $200 stainless steel and copper bit, um, but, but you, could, you could drive a donkey with that just fine. Right. Okay. 